Okay guys, so here's the Red Skull. And um, this this is just an awesome figure. It's a Mesco figure. Uh, I got her. I got this guy like uh, two months ago, or well, maybe a month and a half ago. And um, yeah, I haven't done any videos, so um, I love this backpack. When they announced the figure, they didn't show this backpack, and I I was like, nah, I'll get the the other version. But when I saw this, I was like, man, this looks so cool. So. And then um, the, the the head sculpt is just um, it's just so nice, you know. It's just a great um, looking head sculpt. Um, the articulation is very good. You see, um, you can turn the head this way and that way. The sides. Um, also, I really dig his um, his gun. It's just a really cool looking gun. Um, and this guy reminds me, I guess they made him like from the old school. Like when I was a kid, um, they did the Spider-Man show. Um, it wasn't a Spider-Man and Amazing Friends, but even before that, there was a Spider-Man show. And um, he came out just like this with the green suit. And um, it, was a special, it was a special episode with Captain America in it. And um, just kind of reminds me of that. The boots look really nice. And uh, one of the reasons I got them is because I, I was really disappointed with Mesco because of the, the pivot articulation. Like when I got the Captain America, he has no pivot, you know? So I was really disappointed in that, especially for the price, you know? So this one is definitely worth it. Um, the pivot is really good. And um, the boots look really nice. He even has a little peg right here, look at that. Um, this belt comes off sometimes, but you just gotta clip back in. This is a holster for his gun. And um, as you can see, it's even got the little Hydra, Hydra thing there, the symbol. And the texture on this, all this is like 3, 3D sculpted, I think, because it's like perfect, the texture here. So they're definitely using ZBrush for that kind of stuff. I wonder if they're using ZBrush for the head sculpts too. Um, the cloth is really nice. Um, the flamethrower is just off the hook. Um, when I get a little better in weathering, I'll definitely give, give it a try maybe. But right now, I just don't want to mess it up. So um, let's see. Since I've been messing around with oils for weathering, it's just really, really nice method of um of um weathering your your pieces whatever it is a figure or something or a kit so yeah just really dig all the detail they did on this figure the articulation is really awesome um his app crunch is is not super good but it's decent so besides he doesn't have to crunch too much but but I, w I sure wish, I, I do wish that they would put a better um, app crunch on these um, bodies. So, but I'm, I'm really glad that, that they um, put the pivot because that's really important for, um, for, for the uh, posing. So anyway, I'm gonna go, uh, he comes with an extra head, but it's basically almost the same. Um, comes with little extra hands and a stand, a hydro stand, it's really nice. I just wanted to show it. Um, my battery's running out, so. Yeah, guys, the Red Skull, awesome figure. Um, what am I getting next for Mesco? I definitely wanna get the Gladiator Hulk. And um, I was thinking of getting Doctor Strange because it just looks off the hook, but I don't know, probably not. And uh, Spider-Man, the black suit Spidey, but who knows. Um, anyway, but I definitely had to get this guy because this guy looks amazing, so. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more reviews, guys, and um, you know, painting stuff and everything. So keep collecting, guys.